have to pick one. Do you want a traditional relationship or do you want a relationship predicated on egalitarian values? You have to choose. You can't have both. Do you want to know one of the saddest realizations I recently had? Was that as a liberal woman, it is really hard to find a man who is willing to play the more traditional masculine role in the relationship in today's day and age. Here's the first mistake you made is that not recognizing conservatism and masculinity are two fruits of the same tree. As soon as she started her rhetoric there in respects to her being a liberal and wanting a masculine man, I knew that she was in for a rude awakening. If not now, later on in life. The point being, ladies, is if you're a liberal and you're looking for that traditional masculine man, but you don't want him to be of a conservative values, he is either lying to you or he is deluded in and of himself. The values are consistent and congruent with one another. I can give you an example. Now, this is from the US Congressman Mike Johnson, who outlined several principles that come under the rubric of conservatism. The first one being individual freedom. So I'll just talk a little bit about individual freedom first and foremost. So the birth of our great nation was inspired by the bold declaration that our individual God-given liberty should be preserved against the governmental intrusion. Pause. I can give you a very, very quick example. You can give me a very quick example in the last three years that shows where liberalism and conservative and, uh, conservatism butt heads and they do not share those values. COVID. We can talk about COVID. I won't step too far into the fast that was COVID. But we can talk about the COVID vaccines. Our individual freedom and liberty was at stake. You had to get the jab to be able to go into work. And the liberals were all for it. Protect everybody else. Who cares about your body? Who cares about your individual freedom? Give it up. Now, in what universe, in what deluded reality is that consistent with traditional masculine values? Not at all. Not at all. What is the traditional masculine? The traditional masculine is a leader. Traditional masculine creates boundaries, creates rules, and protects his individual freedom and liberty, not just of himself, but of his family. Number two, we also recognize the need for limited government interference in our individual lives. So for individual liberty to be championed, government must be reduced. We believe, as our founders did, that the legitimate government operates only by the consent of the governed and is more efficient and less corrupted when it is limited in its size and in its scope. We have self-government. We recognize the need to be the government of our own families and you should not be involved in that. We are playing the traditional masculine role in this respect. And this, unfortunately, Unfortunate individual who has been uh, plastered across social media over the last week has uh, found herself in a rude awakening by those contrasting beliefs. Yes, she has. Who is not a conservative? A man who wants to pay on the first date, who wants to open your door, who has that want and desire to take care of you and to provide. Who is not a conservative? And obviously, as a liberal woman, I do want to be respected for my independence. And I do want to have my own autonomy in the relationship. I'm just thinking at this point, what is this individual bringing to the table? If you're a liberal individual and you want a conservative man, you want autonomy over your finances, that's fine, by the way. You have the freedom of choice to be able to do that. But you cannot, you cannot expect a traditional man who is self-made, maybe an entrepreneur, maybe a businessman who wants to provide in the ways that you have been saying, buy you things, provide dinner, food, housing, all of these things. And you have autonomy over your own finances. What are you bring to the table here? I'm really confused about how these individuals think they can play two, both sides of the coin and expect there to be no complaints in, in respects to that. So here's the point I always make in relation to these claims. Now, I don't care. I don't care if you're a liberal and you want to have a relationship predicated on those kinds of values. There are people that do that every single day. That's fine. But there are two ways to engage in a modern relationship now. Traditional roles and roles on egalitarian principles, which are typically, in, in my estimation, liberal in this circumstance. Now, there are some nuances in there, but let's say that's liberal from this 
particular circumstance. Let's let's talk about the first one, right? Traditional values. She wants a man who has traditional values, which also means that you have to play the counterpart of the traditional values in the feminine role. What does that look like? Does it look like what she's espousing there? It doesn't look like they have individual autonomy over their own income. It means you have to provide the traditional feminine role, which is that of a housekeeper, which is that of a nurturer, which is that of an educator, which is that of being a housewife, essentially, right? Now, a lot of people will say that's misogynistic. No, it is it's just a different way of living life. You can have, you, you can have the freedom of choice to want a man who is traditionally masculine, but it's going to come with those conservative values in and of itself. If he's going to provide and be out there working plus 50, plus 60 hours a week in order to give you the lifestyle you want to live, then you equally have to play the other part is make sure his dinner's warm when he comes through the door. Provide that feminine nurturing role, that altruistic role. The problem gets conflated, and I know I'm, I'm degenerating here into uh, the interplay between the social dynamics of uh, sexual uh, traditional relationships, is when you start placing your subjectivity on it and you believe it's oppressive. No, no, it depends on their outcomes. If they're enjoying that traditional feminine role, the trad feminine, this, this uh, theme is coming up, let them be. That is one way of having a relationship. The other part, the latter part is egalitarian values, which is typically liberalism in this case, meaning that she has autonomy over her own income. She still works, she still plays that there's a blurring of that line between the masculine and feminine roles, right? Meaning that she can be the breadwinner and then she can also play some of the feminine roles inside the household. That's fine. That's fine. But she is asking for the individual on her, um, on her end of the relationship to play the whole wholesome traditional masculine role in that case. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. He is going to be a little bit feminine because that coincides more with the liberal values. That's just the way it's going to be. You cannot have... The delusion that is setting in nowadays is women thinking they can have both benefits of those two different types of relationship, as I've mentioned. You have to pick one. Do you want a traditional relationship or do you want a relationship predicated on egalitarian values? You have to choose. You can't have both and not be confined or conform to the traditional female homemaker childbearing role and most of the men that i've dated who do have that more natural provider masculinity about them are normally conservative i i so i, I don't I, really know i don't understand how she doesn't understand that those two values are not congruent it's like it's, it's like saying I want my wife to be feminine, but also a feminist. It, it, it doesn't happen. Those, th those two things don't coexist together in the same individual unless they are mentally unstable. It, it doesn't work like that. They are two drastic ends of the spectrum. You have to pick one. You don't get both. There has to be compromise on your behalf. You have to add some kind of value into the relationship because it, it seems like to me that this individual is just trying to cherry pick oh I get to have my own money oh I get to have my own job oh I get to have my own independence and I get to um, you know essentially not contribute anything to the relationship but also got the benefits of his money his resources right he's opening the door for me he's paying dinner for me but God forbid he expects sex from me at the end of the night it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. What are you contributing to the relationship? What to do because I don't want to compromise my morals and values just to find a man. It's not compromising your morals and values. It's recognizing that, that your morals and values are incongruent with your ideal partner. You can have, you can have these wants. You, you, can ha you can keep your morals. You can keep your liberal va values. That's fine. But you will not find your liberal values consistent with the ideal partner that you want. It is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And those individuals, as a preface, who say they can do both sides of it are either lying to you to have sex or they're mentally deluded, as I prefaced. But 
Am I asking to have my cake and eat it too? Yeah, yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And I think that was a Freudian slip there that she essentially n knows what she's talking about. Now, this is this is a real... I believe this this, this problem is economic and financial in, in its roots. Meaning, the problem that we're having nowadays is due to tax, due to the economic constraints. Men are unable to play more of that masculine role because the government realized, well, they can take more of your money if the women are also in the workplace as well. So what's happening is more men are having to pursue relationships predicated on egalitarian values where really they want to be the masculine provider and they want their wife to be a stay-at-home mother. And it's a very difficult landscape to navigate around. This, this is a real issue. This is a, this is a real issue that is going to affect your life. It might be affecting your life right now. You might have just come back from a date and recognized, right, I really enjoy this woman. How do I keep my frame? How do I communicate her in the words that I'm saying that I want to be the leader? I want to be the breadwinner. I want to pursue a relationship predicated on equal values. Because more often than not, they're going to have this opinion that I'm a liberal. I want them to, there to be a blending of the, uh, of the roles. But I also want you to be masculine as well and not conservative doesn't happen it may it may work in the short term but the relationship will have no legs because you're lying to yourself when she starts talking about you know getting a vaccine you know again as we said compromising your individual freedom you're not going to do that you're not going to do that because not that's not consistent with who you are as a masculine man and she even if you did do that she would resent you and disrespect you because you've compromised on your values. See how it works? You have to choose one. And guys, as much as we can berate this individual here about being deluded, because she is deluded in this case, you have to also understand, you've got to pick one. Which one do you want? Traditional or egalitarian? You have to pick one. Otherwise, there's going to be problems in the long term. Something for me, myself to unpack, and certainly something yourself to unpack and meditate on hmm. but then again these are just theories take what is valuable discard which is not and we'll speak to each other very very soon gentlemen take care